to the natural state of Arkansas. Now folks, if you're afraid of heights, keep your eyes directly forward. Unless you want to overcome that fear, then look over the sides, but breathe deep and slow. And if you're wondering, yes, I am afraid of heights. So my eyes will be on the road. A portion of Dogwood Canyon is located in Arkansas. So welcome to Arkansas. We are not in Missouri anymore. We are here in Arkansas. That well, looks like we all made it, folks. Yeah. Welcome to our whitetail country. Soon, we will see an American bison, elk, and longhorn cattle herds. Those are the wild animals that lives in this part of Dogwood Canyon which is this part this portion of Dogwood Canyon is located in Arkansas here in Arkansas Now if you see any moving rocks folks, don't worry, those are just our armadillos. Hold on, folks. Can you all still see Dakota? Can you all see the white bison? Yeah. All right, perfect. So, bison or buffalo? If you speak French, you will call them buffalo, which means ox. If you speak Latin, you will call them bison, which means ox. Either one is correct. Here at the canyon, we just like to call them bison. Don't let their giant size fool you folks because they can run about 30 to 35 miles an hour and they can maintain that speed for hours on end. If they need to do a little jumping, they can go about six feet in the air. So pretty athletic for their size. What causes them to run? <laughs> Predators, mostly. 
And as you can tell by their demeanor, we have no predators here in the canyon. <laughs> their two main predators are the mountain lion and the grizzly bear. We have neither of those here. Thank you. That white fellow over there is Dakota. In Lakota Sioux language, his name means friend to everyone. He's not an albino because he has regular eye color and a slight brown tint. He is not yet two years of age. Normally when they're birthed to about two, they have their horns out straight like that little fella right there. From two to three, their horns start to curl up, signifying to the rest of the herd that they are ready for mating. Dakota, at first, we thought he was three years old, almost three, because he has those horns starting to curl up. Pretty much what they do, folks. <laughs> that big fellow right behind the bison standing up, that is Hercules. Right there, next we have our Texas Longhorns. The Texas Longhorns originated from Spain. The Spanish that took them to what is now the modern day countries of Dominican Republic and Haiti. From there, they took them up to Mexico. And after a few years, they set them free. Then those Texas Longhorns roamed all the way up into Texas. They almost became extinct until the 1920s. When ranchers from Oklahoma started rounding them up, mixing them with their own cattle. Now we have our modern day Texas Longhorn. Don't let their size fool you folks. They are the gentlest out of the bovine family. Which means yes, if I got out I could go up and pet them and they would not do anything. But that is not encouraged by our wildlife manager, so I will not be petting them. <laughs> Those horns are just like the bison, made of keratin, the same stuff as your fingernails. Those horns will get anywhere from six to eight feet from tip to tip. That larger fellow back behind Dakota is Ninja. Look how big he is, folks. Over there on the right, that is our bachelor group. It's a that is Strut. He is the old bull. He is now retired. Looks like he's posing for us, folks. <laughs> You'll notice that they have some patches taken out of their coats. That is because, just like the bison, they are shedding their winter coats. And they will rub those coats against the trees or use their teeth to pull it out. Looks like a few of them want to come feed. So hold on, folks. We're stopping. Hold on. Please stay on the tram, folks.
So during the winter months, we have those bald eagles that come through here, and they like to eat our golden rainbow trout. We have recently restocked, but they're still kind of learning, so. Nature, folks. Unpredictable. Now you will commonly find the golden rainbow trout at the 10,000 foot mark and a little higher, naturally, in nature. They are not a different species of rainbow trout. They're still the same species. They're just a slight different color scheme. Aren't they amazing, folks? Oh. They want to come up, but they're not sure. Still amazing waterfall, though. That creek on the right is where you might see some of our red striped turtles. Coming up on the left hand side, we have Trapper's Cabin. Trapper's Cabin was built to replicate a Trapper Cabin Johnny came across in New Mexico. This Trapper's Cabin was built in, in 1990, and Johnny stayed here periodically to oversee the construction of the canyon. Trapper's Cabin on the left. Did we make it? Here at Dogwood, we would like to know about your experience. So, direct your attention to that seat back in front of you. Go to one of those websites and leave a comment. Let us know how your experience here in Dogwood Canyon was today. And for your driver, go ahead and pit down Ray. Thank you for watching. God bless us all. Bye.